Hi, I'm Carol Andrews for another episode of Southwest TV News. Here are some of the stories coming up on today's show. Standardized testing has been in place across the province for a number of years. And in recent weeks, Saskatchewan education officials have stated this process will soon be eliminated. According to the latest data from the province, sasjobs.ca continues to be a popular website, both for employers and those seeking employment. Saskatchewan talent is shining on stage during the 180 Theatre Festival, hosted by the Swift Current Little Theatre now through Saturday. Thanks for joining us here today. The Chinook School Division continues to be a trendsetter in education, this time in the area of student assessments. Standardized testing has been in place across the province for a number of years. And in recent weeks, Saskatchewan education officials have stated this process will soon be eliminated. With the onus now on individual schools and divisions to take the lead in establishing student benchmarks. A concept which the Chinook School Division says it's already been addressing. I can't, I can't emphasize this enough. We're not standardized testing in terms of what people maybe have a stereotypical view on where we're shining a, a heat lamp on a kid, making them sit down for three hours and write an exam and tell them it's high stakes because all of our funding depends on the results you get. In Chinook, when we're in grade three and we're trying to find out where our kids are reading at, a teacher sits down beside the child listens to them read, asks some questions for comprehension, marks down where they're making mistakes in their reading, and then at the end of the book, determines whether the child is at the same level that that book has been placed at. Chufu indicates that grade three is an important benchmark for all students as it sets a path for their future learning. A lot of uh, research and a lot of analysis has gone into this. If students are reading at grade level by grade three, they have a much better opportunity to graduate on time. If they don't, then we pour a lot of resources into them, but the success rate is much lower. Vision 2020, the Premier was very clear that he would like to see 80% of students in grade three at grade level. Chinook said 86, so we've got, uh, but uh, our board has set a goal of 90. And with the mandate of ensuring all students have access to achieving top grade scores, Chinook has also led the way with its balanced literacy and math momentum programs over the years, with high success rates for all students involved. And now the new 8020 initiative will have a Chinook connection. You know, I've been asked to be the owner of that grade three reading initiative provincially, and that's how we're going to move forward. We're going to use the strengths, skills, and assessments of teachers in the classrooms, see where those students are at, and then our data provincially will just be the data that rolls up from those classrooms to schools to divisions to the province. The Chinook School Division is comprised of over 6,100 students across the southwest and is the second largest division in the province. An increased number of job seekers and employers are using the SAS Jobs website. We have more in this report. According to the latest data from the province, sasjobs.ca continues to be a popular website, both for employers and those seeking employment. Visits to the site had an all-time high for the month of March, reaching over 1.2 million, an increase of 9.1% year over year. And, you know, um, the bulk of those visitors are local visitors, you know, from within Saskatchewan, about three-quarters of those. So, and about 18% of those visits are from other parts of Canada, um, notably Alberta, Ontario, and British Columbia. They make up um, uh, the bulk of visits from other parts of Canada. And then there's about 7%, which are international visits. And nearly three-quarters of those international visits are from the United States and the Philippines. A growing interest in sasjobs.ca is an overall reflection of the province's strong labour market and a growing economy. 
Of the 15,644 jobs that were posted to the site in March, the most in-demand occupations were those in the trades, transport and equipment operation, and sales and service occupations. And the southwest corner of the province also had numerous employment opportunities. They had, you know, just over 1,400 of the job postings, which is about 9% of the total job postings in Saskatchewan. And uh, that really reflects their labor market. It's the same percentage share of employment that they have in the province as well. So, you know, demand is in line there with, um, you know, the configuration of the labor market. Mobile devices and tablets accounted for 39% of all visits to sasjobs.ca marking a slight increase in mobile use from a year ago. Overall postings to the site were slightly down this year by 1.8 percent as compared to employment opportunities on the site of March of 2013. Saskatchewan actors are taking to the stage at the 80th Annual Theatre Fest in Swift Current this week. We have more in this report. Saskatchewan talent is shining on stage during the 180 Theatre Festival, hosted by the Swift Current Little Theatre now through Saturday. Community theatre groups from Kyle, Moose Jaw, Yorkton, Melford and the Battlefords are presenting their productions to the crowd. And along with the on-stage performances, attendees are taking part in workshops and group adjudications. Gail Whiteford is an adjudicator from Calgary who is spending the week attending the festival and then meeting with each of the theatre companies to discuss their plays and overall performances. Today with uh, Willow Road, what I wanted to convey to the actors was that there's a great deal of difference between saying the lines and having a conversation like we're having right now. And what I wanted was um, at the beginning of the show, and I mean last night, they were the first show up in the festival. They were playing to a hometown crowd. The nerves must have been horrendous. Uh, I know they would have been for me, and that's me projecting, of course. But I felt that some of the lines were too much lines and not conversation. So what I was working on was timing, pacing um, of the lines to show them that perhaps they, if they changed their pacing a bit, we would have had more character development. Constructive criticism, which is welcomed by these Swift Current actors. Oh, I love the adjudication process because you learn so much. It's just one other person's opinion. And um, Gail did a wonderful job. She gives such um, interesting tips and fun tips. So we had actually a really uh, fun workshop. It was great. As each of the theater groups take to the stage with their often locally written productions, each are vying for a series of coveted trophies to be awarded at the end of the festival. And for groups such as That Critical Stage from Kyle, who are making their debut at Theatre Fest, the week-long showcase is one to remember. I think it's a wonderful ex uh, learning experience for anybody, uh, whether you're an amateur player or uh, a professional actor, it's just a wonderful showcase. Uh, you learn so much from any adjudicators that I've ever been uh, privy to listen to. I've just, you know, you always take home so much. And um, that's just phenomenal. And there's so much talent in Saskatchewan. It's, uh, it's hard to believe, but um, they're out there. Having acted and directed in numerous stage productions over the years, Thompson says festivals such as this help to keep community theatres thriving while keeping a piece of history alive for aspiring writers and actors. Because it brings back a lot of, a lot of old-time things because many many years ago that was the source of entertainment was plays I remember my mom talking about the priest would put on all these plays for the community so it's you know it brings a lot of people together. Theatre Fest is into its 80th year showcasing community theatre groups from across the province and is hosted in a different Saskatchewan community each spring. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across Southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at mylocaltv.ca. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. 
Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.